Well, RGX314 is a gene therapy product. And it's really using gene therapy to provide sustained delivery of an anti-VEGF agent. So in other words, instead of injecting the protein and continuously injecting the protein, what, what we do is inject a viral vector that then goes into the cells and produces the therapeutic pr protein. The therapeutic protein is secreted, so it then goes all throughout the eye, and it's continuously produced so that it provides sustained suppression of VEGF. So as opposed to our current treatments where we inject a large bolus, so you have high levels and then they gradually go down, and then you inject again, you get high levels, they gradually go down. In this case, we're injecting the gene that expresses the protein, it's expressed continually and so you have constant, if you get high enough expression, you have constant suppression of VEGF as long as it expresses. Yeah, so there's so far there's been three cohorts, six patients in each cohort, so it's a, it's a dose ranging, so the lowest dose in the first cohort, the medium dose in the second, and the highest dose so far in the third cohort. And what we're doing in this trial is we're actually measure the, measuring the production of the VEGF neutralizing protein. So we periodically do aqueous taps. We may put a little needle into the anterior chamber, draw out fluid, and then we measure for the production of the, of the transgene, of the, the protein that we want. And we did not see very much, not very consistent in the first two cohorts, but in the third cohort, now we're seeing quite consistent expression at a good level above what we predict to be the IC50 for this VEGF neutralizing protein. And in accordance with that, we're seeing patients who, after the, in the subretinal injection of the vector, they're now not requiring the, the injections of the VEGF neutralizing proteins. So three of the six have not required any injections. And then one has required just a couple injections, and then two others have required a few more injections.